Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Ripple win over SEC could spark altcoin rally, says analyst. And I've been saying this for quite a while. I talk about it in XLM, XDC, HBAR videos all the time. I tell people, you need to be holding these cryptocurrencies at the time when Ripple wins against the SEC. If not, you're going to be paying a much higher price for these cryptocurrencies. I believe the market is already going to reflect the news before you even hear about it. In other words, you're going to see XRP skyrocket. Then with, later, you'll find out a settlement just happened. And I do believe XRP is going to set off the next run. XRP is glitching on the Zoom wallet. And all the time that I've been holding XRP, there have been multiple glitches. I remember the 1 4th of July, XRP was glitching to $1,776. Now, some people get very excited around this. Other people say it's nothing. Some believe that it, they're actually testing XRP at these prices in the background. I do know this. At some point, this will no longer be a glitch. This will be the actual price of XRP, and that will be an amazing day. SEC will have a meeting on March 30th. They call it a sunshine meeting. It is when all the commissioners will meet to discuss for other legal actions, settlement offers to end cases. The timing of this is perfect. We could see the Ripple case end by this month, best believe. Now, since this case has been going on, there have been a lot of sunshine meetings. This one could be a bit different because I believe the judge is ready to rule on this case. I believe she's probably ready to rule in favor of Ripple. So maybe Gary will talk about a settlement with Ripple. We, the good news is we don't have to wait long to hear any type of news because this meeting happens today, this afternoon. SEC Chair Gensler to face scrutiny over crypto policy. Following recent actions by U.S. authorities against the U.S. crypto industry, Operation Choke Point 2.0 has become more apparent than ever. At the center of the campaign is the U.S. SEC, which recently sent a Wells notice to Coinbase and brought forth a lawsuit against crypto mogul Justin Sun over fraud and other security laws violations. Oversight of the SEC actions by the U.S. Congress has been effectively non-existent so far. However, this is now set to change. In an interview with Punchbowl News, Patrick McHenry, chairman of the Financial Services Committee, disclosed that SEC chairman Gary Gensler will have to testify before the committee for the first time on April 18th to justify his actions. Hopefully, they talk about why Sam Bankman fried was given a free pass, why Gary turned his head. Maybe they'll also find about, out about the phone calls with George Soros and Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton. There's a lot of corruption at the SEC. Let's hope that Patrick McHenry gets to the bottom of all of it. Ripple CTO David Schwartz clarifies turning point for XRP security status. Schwartz pinpointed the exact moment XRP ceased to be a security, clarifying that it happened when the company relinquished its control over the XRP ledger, allowing others to maintain it as well. And we all know that XRP is a cryptocurrency. Gary Gensler even knows it's a cryptocurrency. And, you know, this whole case is like one major sham. That's why I always tell you, you know, I cannot wait for this to end. I'm actually tired of talking about this SEC case. We need it to end. We need innovation in this country to strive and move forward. We need XRP to show its true price already. The, I believe what we're looking at when we look at XRP is a very suppressed price. Now, 2018, everything comes after COBOL, including one-second transmissions. It is possible with a ripple win against the SEC that COBOL becomes a priority for XRP ledger developers. The man who wrote the white paper is back at Ripple now. Now, if you don't know what COBOL is, I'm going to explain it in a minute. But I remember back in 2018, 2019, this was all the talk. Now it's back again. People are amped up about it. With the COBOL algorithm... 
XRP speed and dependability dramatically increases, reducing the speed for an XRP cross-border transaction to as little as one second. That's up to 75% faster than the existing three to four seconds it takes for an XRP cross-border transaction to close. Although the speed of cryptocurrency gets the headlines, probably the most exciting aspect of the COBOL update is that it greatly improves the reliability of the decentralized nature of XRP, taking it far beyond the current decentralization protocol of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other blockchain currencies. With the update, XRP transactions will be highly stable, even in the presence of malicious actors. So it's already, it, it will improve already amazing technology. It will improve XRP. It will add value to it. That's what Cobalt is. Now, I'm, I was surprised because for quite a while there was no talk about it. Now people are talking. XRP price rises to an 11-month high despite Binance Clash. I'm just going to point out one thing here. Furthermore, the famous veteran trader Peter Brandt pointed out CFTC's actions against Binance, which might be able to cause a significant disaster for the crypto industry, was just a matter of time. Brandt noted the possibility of Ripple being next to topple as the regulatory crackdowns have risen. Let me tell you something. Ripple is not going to topple. If anything, Ripple is going to win against the SEC, and we're going to see XRP rise like never before. But the other thing I wanted to point out is that he says Binance is time. It, it was just a matter of time for this action to come. And I believe a lot of other people feel the same way as well. People are waiting for something to happen around Binance. 62 million XRP withdrawn from Binance amid the CFTC lawsuit. Now, people were calling it a bank run at Binance. Some people lost faith in Binance. Let me tell you something. Binance needs to definitely succeed because if not if binance was default it's going to be catastrophic for crypto finance ceo cz sued by cftc over willful evasion of u.s laws unregistered crypto derivatives products the cftc alleged binance offered unregistered crypto derivatives products and directed u.s customers to evade compliance controls through the use of vpns now there's irony here you see how they talk about vpns right VPN users risk 20-year jail sentences in the U.S. under new Restrict Act. So we see people often legitimately use VPN, virtual private network services, to add an extra layer of security for web communications. Furthermore, they allow users to mask or change their internet address. This is often required to access content that may otherwise be blocked or censored. The bill, if passed, would attempt to identify information and communications technology products and services holdings that pose undue or unacceptable risk. This could include VPNs if they are used to access banned websites such as TikTok. Now, I know for a fact they're also going to use this to keep people out of crypto. And we pay these people salary through our tax dollars yet we pay them and they create laws to use against us that's what's terrible about paying taxes in the u.s as the crypto industry warns of offshoring binance represents the worst case scenario even if binance is innocent of the accusations from the cftc the allegations make clear that the company is operating mostly outside the reach of the u.s regulators just like another exchange that faced an end this is that's not to mention the increased market share of tether in the wake of banking induced shakiness to usdc if companies are pushed offshore customers will keep finding ways to use them regardless of where they are based and binance will just be the beginning and that's what's going to happen people are always going to find a way to buy crypto but i believe they're coming up with that law right now at this time for that very reason they want to keep people out new report shows 1 million tech jobs at stake in u.s due to regulatory uncertainty now we know they're pushing crypto out of the u.s and that's what coinbase is talking about here but they're pushing other tech out as well they're trying to crush everything around innovation
And it's as long as it continues, we're going to see company after company leaving the U.S. all the time. And our economy is absolutely going to take a major hit because of it. That's why I believe we also see all those tech layoffs right now. Politicians like this lying psycho are nothing more than criminals. They want to outlaw crypto wallets because they are finding it hard to steal even more money from the owners. They forgot that they are there to serve, not to bully. Remember Elizabeth Warren in the bill that is coming after non-custodial wallets. They want to know all about the crypto you hold. I believe that's why they're going after the exchanges right now. They want to see how far they can push the exchanges. I believe they're also working to probably seize records at some point on who's buying crypto, who's selling crypto, so they could use it against us. But they never need to know what I hold on my ledger, period. That's my opinion on it. And they never need to know how much crypto I'm buying here and there. They shouldn't know how much crypto you're holding either. Pay your capital gains when you cash out. Other than that, it's none of their business. And this is all to get me and you out of crypto. Keep new investors away from crypto. I'm going to talk more about that in another video. Because it all, everything points in one direction. They want us out. That's what it comes down to. You got to stand up and say, no, I'm going to continue holding crypto. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.